What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and I'm back again with another 3 champions that are great picks for solo queue, but suck in competitive play. And I will definitely have a video on champions who suck in solo queue, but are good in competitive play coming later. Anyways, let's get started. As we go through part 3, the main thing to keep in mind is that there are a few factors for why a champion might do well in solo queue, but suck in competitive play. The first being champion difficulty. The fact that a champion is easy to play is a huge advantage for solo queue, which is simply not the case at the LCS level. Also, many champions have weaknesses that require team coordination and a high level of skill from your opponent to punish, and so you can take advantage of the uncoordinated teams since they won't be able to punish you in solo queue. This type of counterplay tends to completely destroy a champion, but it's so difficult to pull off that you really can just completely throw it out the window in solo queue most of the time, and so you get left with a really strong champion. The first champion we have is Vayne Top. In competitive play, Vayne Top has problems sitting team comps and is extremely poor in 2v1s, since she reacts to dives poorly, as well as she can't really get the lane bully matchup that she wants since her opponents can 2v1 her so easily, and when she gets 2 v one and gets little to no farm, she's totally useless. However, in solo queue, teams really never 2v1, and so Vayne Top is really really strong because she's a massive lane bully and really stomps on pretty much any any melee top laner, and most ranged ones as well too. And since she's Vayne, she's extremely strong versus tanks, so you can make use of a huge lead that you can easily acquire in lane to crush the tank meta and help your team out a ton. As long as you pick her in a composition with a tanky jungler, Vayne top can really excel in solo queue and she really wrecks tanks just as a champion, so her teamfights are going to be great in this tank meta, and with a super powerful laning phase, she's quite an awesome pick. Next up, we have Katarina. Katarina has been this type of champion for quite some time now, and she really suffers in competitive play, since coordinated teams can shut her down quite effectively with crowd control, and they will itemize defensively much better than people in solo queue will, to prevent her passive from going off. While in solo queue, Katarina tends to be something that everyone kinda just brushes off as someone else's problem, and by the time someone actually steps up to deal with her, it's really too late since her kit is so fast when it comes to pulling off her damage, and her snowball Bowling potential is just so insane that with a couple of kills you can really just take over the entire game, and her roams and teamfights are super powerful while her laning phase isn't too bad either. And people really are just not that great at shutting her down and itemizing against her properly, so she has so much more power than she actually should as a champion in solo queue. And lastly we have Shaco. Shaco suffers in competitive play because although it does require an entire team effort to play around him properly in the early game, with deep wards and strong communication, if they do you can really shut him down completely. And in solo queue players really just don't understand that that is what it takes to deal with Shaco. The stealth ganks are so amazing and really catch such a large amount of players off guard that it's so easy to snowball the early game and as long as you have a tanky top laner, he's really not that useless in the late game at all. Especially Especially not as much as people might expect him to be, while his early game is so dominant since the ganks are just so easy since really players in solo queue play without respecting the jungler and stealth ganks punishes people so hard for that, that you really can just snowball the early game super hard with a few kills and apply such a huge amount of pressure on the lanes overall compared to other jungle champions. Anyways, my name is Jeremy, and that's it for part 3 of Champions Who Are Good in Solo Queue, But Bad in Competitive Play. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, as well as you can check me out on Facebook and Twitter, at Gaming Curios. And check me out on Twitch too, I do weekly streams. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, as well as you can check out some of my other content up above. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.